Dubai and me, we have this passionate, turbulent, magnificent love affair. It I have heard about Dubai being over the top, too flash, too showy, too kitsch. I arrived in Dubai and I remember the car driving me in Dubai on Sheikh Zai Road. Woof! I could feel the energy, I could feel something, something. It was like a wave over me and it was an instant falling in love. The food industry, it's another matter. I have witnessed in the last three, four years how simply Dubai has become this incredible, fast forward, furious place. It has a lot of rubbish, but it has also some very good things happening. I have been very fortunate, alhamdulillah, to cook for some of the most enigmatic, charismatic, leading personas, uh, celebrities and royals in the world. I'm only saying that not to show off, not to name drop. I have cooked for charity, I have cooked for children, for orphans, I have cooked for our beloved troops in Afghanistan. I was the food writer for The Guardian in UK. I have eight cook food books, two of which are award winning. And now, I am called Omnia. I also see myself as an educator, you know, and I will not stop. Organic food is the reason I started Omnia. I was the first chef, and I say this without no hesitation, who introduced organic food on the menus in Dubai. For the simple reason that four years ago, I did a statistic, I did a study. The dean of the university was telling me that 98% of food in Dubai and UAE is imported. And I decided to change it. And as being the first to get a lot of stones thrown at you, your business does not go as fast as you want it to go for the simple reason that there is no awareness out there. Everybody wants cheap food, everybody wants everything. People are very easy to buy Le Bouton, Louis Vuitton, iPhone, but the food they put inside themselves, they're questioning, why is this food so expensive? Well, guess what? Because it costs more money to produce beautiful food. I'm doing something nobody else is doing. I'm very much on the forefront of creating food that is uh, happy food, that is clean food, that is food that will strengthen your health span in order to improve your lifespan. Now, I'm the queen of superfoods. Superfoods are very important. If I tell you that superfoods are the most antioxidant, the most anti-aging of foods, because you see, I don't want to age, I don't want to use any injections, uh, I don't want to use any botox, I don't want to use any fillers, and I'm now of a certain age, so it's the foods that make me, and keep me young, and keep me vibrant, and keep me energetic. That's why on my Instagram, Omnia by Sylvana, I put selfies. I don't put selfies because I'm a young, beautiful thing. I put selfies because I want people to know that if you eat the right foods, you will glow. Your body will be so happy. Your kidneys and your liver and your whole existence will sing inside you. My big aim, my big intention, my big person in life is to change the way you eat. And I have a big plan. And you see, I'm not a doctor. I cannot save lives in that way. I'm not a fireman. I'm not a nurse. I cannot do these things. But what they can do as a chef, it's change the way we perceive, we see food. I believe food is the original medicine. Alternative, conventional medicine is out there in order to suppress certain symptoms, but the cure itself comes from food. I'm the one that has won Innovation Chef of the Year, year after year. We win best in town. We win, uh, we have so many awards, you know, as, as Omnia, as a brand. But the biggest award we win year after year is innovation. And as a chef, I feel that we need to be innovative. We need to create excitement. We need to create a following. And uh, for example, I create things like salad cakes. I make you a cake that looks so voluptuous and so delicious and so inviting and so screaming in colors. And you think it's buttercream, you think it's cream, you think it's chocolate and icing. No, no, it's made out of vegetables. It's made out of vegetable purees and vegetable strokes. And, and it's just phenomenal. So you're eating a salad cake, which is actually good for you, and you're getting your five a day in one go. We are in the most prestigious of malls. We are in the Mall of Emirates. My restaurant is three times the size, maybe six times the size of uh, cute common grounds and probably twice the size of uh, Ding Tai Fu. Ding Tai Fu has been in the market for 58 years. Ding Tai Fu has over 115 restaurants all over the world, and Ding Tai Fu knows what they're doing. In a big sense, I have been only a year and a half in this place, and I stick to my guns. Common grounds uh, have often restaurants with alcohol. I will never do that. So you see, my belief is that I stick to organic food, I stick to the best produce possible, and if you're smart and if you're shutter, you will come and eat here because this is the way. But unfortunately, people are a bit like sheep. 
they follow, they see busy, they go busy. I've been very candid, very open with you because I see no point in pussyfooting. I'm one of the most prolific female chefs in the world and I'm not going to sit here and tell you otherwise. Yes, it's a challenge, but I've been a year and a half. My brand was just born. Uh, other brands have been around a lot longer and uh, I support it in a different way. You know what, the more these kind of questions are coming at me, the more I love it. We have people like Samantha with the food diva. She advocates this restaurant so much. She says, why, why are you so empty? Because we're too big. We're number one too big. Number two, uh, we are not a brand that has been around forever. You know, come on, look at Apple. What happened to Apple when you first started? What happened to Coca-Cola when they first started, you know? I, I will tell you that life is a wonderful challenge. I love challenges, you know? I, <laughs> you don't know what it's like to be a woman in the kitchen. And the kitchen is a battlefield. And a woman in a battlefield is not the same as a man in a battlefield. So I have survived some much worse scenarios than that. And uh, this is a challenge, bring it on. You see, Dubai goes through so many changes and so rapidly. Word has it that there are about 50, 60 openings a week and more than that in closures. And I know that because there's so many places that come and go. For me, it's about ethics, you know. You can't spend your life chasing numbers because, you know, they're numbers, they will never end. I'm happy when I have a nine-year-old kid coming to my restaurant in Jumeirah and he's celebrating his birthday with his choice with a vegan raw paleo cake. Organic food will never be a mainstream, just like Mercedes is not mainstream, just like uh, Louis Vuitton is not mainstream, just like Hermé is not mainstream, because it's niche, it's for the people uh, who can understand it. I have now adjusted my prices at the level at which I can, uh, which is very affordable. Here at the mall, we do something with much more of a mall spin. We still have the burgers, but they're healthy burgers. While like last night, I had a burger at my place because I make the ban myself. I make, uh, I know where the meat came from. I, um, all the garnishes are organic and the fried potato, it's a local sourced organic potato fried in olive oil. So I know that I'm not upsetting anything only because inevitably, if you eat fast food, must produce fast food, which has been hormonized, injected, full of antibiotics, you will get ill. Make no mistake, I don't care. You will get ill, it's inevitable. And I will tell you that I have the patronage of uh, all the royals in this country, so we're very fortunate. Thank you very much. And uh, they are people who understand, they are people that are very much followed. They are people that they know what to eat and how to eat. Look at our brilliant Sheikh Hamdan with his Dubai Fitness Food Challenge. You know, this fitness challenge is followed by everyone. So the mere fact that these people support my business means everything to me. Omnia exists only on regular business. The moment a person sets their foot through Omnia, they always come back. Never not coming back. So. It may be a slow progress and maybe a bit too slow for me, if I'm honest, because I'm very impatient and I want things fast, but it is a steady, secure process. I wish I wasn't quite so the first to do that. I wish I was the second or the third, but having been the first puts me into a pioneering position.